sat here and I started to do it right before the show. I think I started probably like 25 minutes ago. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> All right. Well, good. You got, you got as your... As crazy as it sounds, uh, we'll talk about it in a minute, but you're going to see me with my head down sometimes because I want to really get a good, hopefully, while we're doing the show, I can get a good chunk of what I'm doing. Right. And I just learned how to do it today, and it's very easy for people to do if they want to get involved. Okay. If they want to buy it, so I'm sure we'll talk to Cheryl, but hit me with some music. Let's go. That's All right, very, Joey. Very, uh, very uh, like I said, very zen, very tranquil, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I think I finished all one of my colors already. I'm very excited. Ooh, nice. Are we gonna? Are you gonna? You're gonna be done by the end of the show, right? Probably not. There is uh. no way in hell. There are. <laughs> I started on color number one, and there are 39 colors. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see your progress. All right, here we go. Song number one for you, Joey. See if you know this one. Wipe out. That's it, Joey. Good job. That's the Fat Boys wipe out. That is. The Fat Boys and the Chubby Check. Right? That's it, Joey. Good job. Baby. Did the Fat Boys do that? Is that the Fat Boys one, too? Is that what it is? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you did good. Good job. I'm very <laughs> zen. I'm very zen. I'm telling you, man. God, this microphone is pissing me off. All right, here we go. Next song for Joey Fatone. How about this one? I'm making sure I will do this. That would be Color Me Bad. Uh, da, da, da. I'm trying to think of the name of the song, though. All for Love. All for Love. Good job. Color Me Bad. These are going to be even harder for our guest, all right? Oh, crap. Hold I just finished one. I'm very excited. I just finished a color today, just now. What color? Uh, it was orange, which was number one, and that looked like it was not a whole lot. Remember the 64 uh, Crayola box that you got when you were in school and all this? I had the, sh the crayon sharpener in the back. Hell yeah. My favorite color in there was burnt sienna. Who the hell had burnt, burnt sienna? sienna? Why? I don't know. Just because I was like, Who, what's burnt sienna? I was like nine. I was like, what is that color? I don't know. Somebody named sienna who's burnt? I don't know. That, how about periwinkle? I like The periwinkle. color of Lance's hair the other day. Yes. All right. How about this? One more. One Another more. One. What about the one. color green? That green behind you, I think, is a little more chartreuse. Well, I don't know. It's uh, it's yeah, it's some. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get a better camera because <sighs> my green screen. When you put the green screen on, yeah, it's weird. When you put the green screen on, it actually like gets all shingagada. It lags. I gotta figure out for Matt Mendel which one to use. He kind of gave me some pointers, but that didn't work. So, anyways, all right, last song, let's and then it. we'll let's get our people in here. Song is from one of the most acclaimed albums of all time. Very long intro. Very long. Yes. Intro. Cool in the gang. Cool in the gang. No. No. Is it the same people that sing Rock the Casbah? Yes, it is. Okay, the group that sings the Rock the Casbah. I can tell Not a crappy the song, come all the hell. I don't know the name of them, though. Train in Bane off the album London Calling. Rolling Stone put this top five album of all time from The Nobody Clash. Nobody knows that crap. Mia Palmer did. All right. Thank you, Mia Palmer. Thanks, Mia. Appreciate it. The Clash. That's right. The clash. Damn this microphone. I hate it right now. <sighs> I'm having a like, bad look, day, Joe. Look, I'm doing drugs. Check it out, dude. What? Dude, I really wish I had something to calm me down right now. I'm hot. I'm, very zen. I'm telling you, I am. I'm very zen right now. I'm very, very, just very calm and collective with this. This is very uh, interesting. I don't know what I got to do. This is number 141, which is the color of white, which is number two, which I'm doing right now. And then look, they give you like these little hearts, which is oh, the nice. wax for when you actually sticky pokey pokey on this and you fill it up with a little bit of wax so then it actually touches the jewel and it gets a lot easier for you to touch. 
Oh, you know, nice. You're doing a great job of explaining what none of us know what the hell you're doing. Well, the reason why I'm saying this is because I want Cheryl to, when she comes in, I want her to really explain to us what the hell I'm doing. Okay. And Jason, you have the athlete's towel to wipe the sweat off. Oh, my God, dude. Literally, it's like 85 degrees in my house right now. I'm going to die. I'm like, I got to get oh. A lot of great comments last night about you, Joe. Let me tell you, a lot of great comments about yoga. That and yes, nice. I am a little sore today, Joe. I'm a little sore. I know you are. I know you are. are We're you? going to talk about that after after this. But Joey, uh, Jason, let's bring Cheryl in. And Joey, you are so like – Very like, zen. I mean, you are oh so even. You're normally a beat. It's Friday. Let's have a drink. And now you're like – I know. Yeah, number four with number I'm two. ready to have a drink, but I want some chamomile tea, my man, and start freaking snapping and shit. Let's do it, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> chamomile tea. Bring her in, Jason. Hi, Joey. Let's, Let's bring her in. Hey, Joey. Hey, Jason. Our next guest is an American dancer, model, and TV host. A lot of things in common with you, right? Really? Yeah. She is best known for but being the one of... The difference is that she has talent. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, they, I said a lot, not all, everything. She is the best known for being one of the professional dancers on Dancing with the Stars. She has participated in 21 seasons thus far and has won the Mirror Ball twice. She has danced with a who's who's list of sports stars, actors, singers, and now she's on our show. Joey, please welcome Cheryl Burke. Yay! Hey, Joey, this is what it's yeah. supposed to look like. Oh, that's the one I have. Yes. So let me let oh, me nice. show you what that looks like. The back of an Elvis uh, jumpsuit. There. I know, right? Look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing here. Look at this. Look at this grown actually, ass, grown really ass man. Super right impressed. Right. Because everybody else that I've given a kit to, they don't even open the box. So like, you have just you got a gold. Star. Oh no, I opened that, sh dude. I swear to you, I'm sorry to curse, but I opened that shit up and I was like, this is stupid. And then I started doing. I went. This is kind of nice. All weekend, it's gonna be you. You're gonna. Be yeah, carpool tunnel and everything. It's going to be great. Oh, and so, so Cheryl. Real, real quick, Cheryl, real okay. quick. Uh, of course, I think this is something that you kind of like a newfound thing during the pandemic. Is that correct? Or is this something before? Well, you know, Matt, my husband, I think you know this, but he loves animals, right? So his hobby is hanging out with his reptiles that currently live underneath us, like 40 of them. So then I was like, you know what? I need to find something because like dance obviously isn't a hobby now that it's my career. Right. And um, I Googled hobbies for adults and <laughs> diamond painting was like the first on the list. Really? Crazy, right? How many? So how many have you done now? A few. I mean, it takes a while. It takes like months. I, to, like, I, get I, one I'm done. noticing what's happening here. I just did one color. Like I said, but I'm, I'm on number two. You, it does help with anxiety. So it's come very useful, you know, especially during this pandemic that we're going through. Um, but yeah, it, you need the, you need patience. It tests your patience. Matt hates it, so this is not something we do together. However, <laughs> this is something you guys can do together for sure. Like it's a family event. Yeah, I mean how it's like putting a Lego together in a sense. Yes. Really is, you know? actually Jack Osborne loves putting Legos together, and now he loves diamond tools, so it's perfect. Yeah. So how do how does somebody get one? Because people are asking, where oh. would I get that? Well, you can go on my Instagram at Cheryl Burke, or you can go to diamondartclub.com slash Cheryl Burke, and you get a 15% discount if you use my code. In all caps, Cheryl, C-H-E-R-Y-L. Right, I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not joking around. It's yeah, really this is, it's, I'm it's annoyed quietest. now because I want to finish it now, but it's way right. too much. It no, is way too never. much. One diamond at a time. It's about the journey, not the result, Joey Fatone. That's what I'm doing. No, no, no. I'm making sure I cover the number two completely. <laughs> By the way, we little... erase that model. I, I had no idea with a model, but that's great. That bio of mine that Susan gave you. Yeah, I mean, come on, you're you're a model, of course. Look at you. How a great model was that? Of perfection. I just do runway. And how Let's you see been you do runway this? right now? Is that kind of what you've been doing though, as far as dealing with the pandemic, doing kind of stuff like this to kind of keep the anxiety yeah. down and to totally. Not lose your yeah. Head? I mean, I'm really into meditation. I mean, Joey, you know me forever, right? So I went from like club rat, alcoholic, yep. sober. <laughs> And uh, yeah, married, right? And um, yeah, meditator. I've been taking lots of online courses because like when I do diamond painting, I can't just do that. And I can't just do online courses because I'll fall asleep. So it's like to mix the two together, I gotcha. just learned so much during this whole pandemic. What did you, how did you feel though when you did the first as far as like meditation? Because I know sometimes I've, I've wanted to try it and I've seen it. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so stupid. But then again, like I said, you got to get into it. You really have to kind of... Well, 
I mean, I think my my whole thing, I had fear just sitting in alone in my thoughts with no phone in my hand. Like that was my thing. I was like, oh, hell no, that's not going to happen. Right. But, um, you know, when you know that you're going to have thoughts and you're not trying to eliminate your thoughts, it's like stopping your heartbeat from beating. Like you're, you, that's not possible. So you, you just have to just sit still, close your eyes, try not to fall asleep, you know. Um, and it does. Like I do come up with a bunch of different ideas when I am sitting in stillness and silence. So it's been good for me. I do it twice a day, 15 minutes a day. So you put this on here, but also with the meditation, or even like with this, when you're doing the the, the diamond painting, if you will, your mind, it is, it is again, it is it takes your mind off of things, but yet I think it maybe even helps you focus on one specific thing, even though you're doing something else. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it definitely keeps you mindful. But, you know, with meditation, it's like there's mindful meditation where you listen to somebody like talk to you, right? And right. then there's like the meditation, if you have like, there's so many different types. There's like the mantra meditation that I do and then transcendental meditation. But um, I find that like with the mindful meditation, it's a great way to start meditating if you have never done it before. Right. I was about but to I, say, I'm sure, the first, I'm sure the first time you sat there, like, oh, I need a drink. Oh, I was like, oh, I messed up. I need to go back to the therapist. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Now, real quick, one more other question, we'll, and we'll throw some music at you because I know you oh, said you suck. That's so, so good. That's so good. Oh, stop it. There's the code, <laughs> Cheryl Burke. It's Cheryl Burke. Cheryl. Cheryl. I thought you guys can put in my bio for the link. Where's the bio? Yeah, Joe. Joe's <laughs> delayed on the bio there. So I gave the Instagram. The first time. Hold on, Joey. Joey, Joey. Oh, I gave the Instagram, if you look, right? And the whole diamond backslash, I don't want to like, do it. Where are they the going to go to get the link, Malva Hill? At the top of your bio, it says get 15% click here. So your bio in your Instagram shows it. So if you go to Cheryl Burke's Instagram right now and click it, you'll be able to get it. That's or you why can I put like it bio there. Bio slash Coach Cheryl. Right. And it says it in there, by the way. Your bio says that. It does, yes. Have you ever well, done the wrong also, color? Guys, I'm launching my YouTube channel today, too. Craziness. Oh, nice. Girl. What's going to be on the YouTube channel? Uncensored, Cheryl Burke. Oh, well, I've seen that. that. Pretty. I am in. That's a normal. That's in, a normal day for me. In. Yeah, that's like an every day. That's our way we communicate. So Cheryl, I have a question for you. When you were on, you know, Dancing with Stars for as long as you've been on, and when a person like, uh, you know, Joe All the Hill shows up on set, what does he do? Because I, I, I mean, he's got to bother nothing. you guys the entire time, but he nothing. he just can't sit around and do nothing. I know he gets in the mix and starts saying things and doing stuff. Totally. I don't know if it's appropriate, though, for uh, me to say what exactly he does, but um, you definitely know when Mulva Hill's on set. <laughs> I'll take that A as a compliment. And he's I always like, make sure my like, back is covered. My back has to be completely covered. Okay. Uh, okay, Cheryl. <laughs> okay, so hold on. What she means by her back is, first of all, Cheryl was there oh, since God. the beginning. I think you were on season two was your first season, right? And she lived in California, California girl, great dancer, so forth and so on. She comes on. Everybody's like, oh, my God, who is this girl? What's your, your background? You're, you're, I'm Filipino and Russian Irish. Yeah, she has a very unique mix. <laughs> it's a very erotic mix, I'll be honest. Erotic? So comes, well, erotic, it's a compliment, sexy, I mean, whatever. So she comes on. She does her thing. Even the, even the camera is kind of magnetic to her. Like, she was a magnet. It was so, the hair. Okay, that's right, your hair, you have, whatever. But – and it was that gin tan skin. It was amazing. It was that okay, Josh, drag queen right. makeup. <laughs> so I mentioned to her in the early, because I was, uh, I had a few people on. I said to her, man, you're a very pretty woman. I said, but what's fascinating to me is your back. And she's like, excuse me? I'm like, her back, the muscles in her back are, it's amazing. It looks like art form. And that's what I said. And everybody said I was perverted and stupid. I'm like, no, I'm not. Yeah. I she has a nice back. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Notice I don't wear low back costumes anymore because you kind of traumatize. I'm kidding. Right? Now, listen, you, you know, like as a woman, you got like good parts and parts you don't want to show. And my back is one of them. What's the one part you don't want to show? Her the rest. Back. The rest. No, but I, I don't mean no. to be dirty. I'm just saying it's like another part is it like, you know, a certain like, like well, okay, so inside. I think, um, you know, when I used to compete, my dance coach would be like, you've got really short legs. So we're going to have to like the illusion of your body. Like I've got a longer torso than my legs. Right. So, and I'm half Asian. So yeah. Okay. Anyway. So uh, he's always making me like show my back, but then like wear high waisted. Like there's this whole psychology behind the costumes, you know, yeah. no, especially know. when you're like, curvy so it's like you just have and you're standing next to these like girls that look like they're 12 you know so you just have to figure it out 
Oh, so, I know. Wait a I minute. stood next to everyone, and I went, "Why do I look like a <laughs> like a ginormous baby root bar? I look like baby root <laughs> standing <laughs> next to a Twix." You know. I know. No, you, I know. That's why I have body know. issues. But that's a whole nother show. But you had somebody really tell you to expose your back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Wow. No. So I was right. I, don't know if I would do that now as much, you know. But right. like. I mean, no, but it was for the I show. Was for this. It wasn't... like, remember what Edita used to wear, Joey? Like nothing, <laughs> nothing. Yeah. So, like, I don't have a body like that. So it was like, you know, you just, you just know your place. Like, I'm not gonna go out in a bikini and just like salsa my ass off. Right. Right. People right. were people were shocked that she pretty much wore nothing. Um, by the after way, a while, all of us were like, so much so that during rehearsal, I would see certain things just come out. When yeah. You Many like Daisy Dukes, but she has an amazing body. She's like a Victoria's Secret model. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember Joey? The episode where somebody convinced Joey to spray paint abs in his on his stomach. Well, yeah. that was during the show. I did the the Dance with the Stars <laughs> show. Yeah. In what Vegas. Is that all the pros and celebs do now? Spray paint. Oh, spray paint. Yeah. You did the me the mesh in the All Star. You but wore I didn't that spray mesh. it. No, no, no. That wasn't sprayed, buddy. That was when oh. I was actually somewhat working out. And when I jiggled, it wasn't jiggling as much as it should, but it did a tight jiggle. It was like, uh. oh my god! Your guys' yoga yesterday. I was watching your show. Hysterical when your when your guys' arms went up. Oh, that was. Oh, you saw my belly. You got that to look a, at that my was an absolute belly. nightmare. Let's do some music, Jason. Let's go. All right, so Cheryl, because you've been on Dancing with the Stars for you know eons, I have picked songs that you danced with your partners to. All right. So all you got to do is just pick, you can pick the song, get the song, title, artist, who you danced with, uh, what type of dance you danced with, whatever you got to figure it out. Okay. All right. I know you say you're terrible. Didn't you play but... the first song you played for me? I think I actually danced to. Oh, you did? I don't know. Well, I wasn't you're not going to know who I danced with. Or I know. I you've been on for some of it, maybe. But I've been on for matter. 75 years. You'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll help you out. All right. Here we go. First song. <laughs> Pitbull. Pitbull. Awesome. I know you want me. Don't know yeah. who danced it with. Look at you go. So who was, do you remember who it was, Jason? Oh, wait. I danced it with Jill. Jill. Marini. Jill. That's right. That's right, Mobile. I'm correct. She's correct. She's on it. She's on it, Jill. I don't Damn drink. it. I, missed the, I messed up my jewel. <laughs> All right, how about that? See, you're on point. See, Cheryl, you, you know what's Jill. going on. You gotta love here, them. You gotta love here we them. go. Next one. Next. Next. One, two, three. Ooh. 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 Look, I love how she's like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna know it. She's like, Smith, Smith, Smith. Yeah, right. Do you know what week it was? Do you know what week? Week two. Oh my God, she's on fire. I don't, you know, it's so funny. Wait, I don't know the artist, though. So I don't know the artist. So That's you, uh, KT Tunsall. KT Tunsall. Oh, I would have never guessed that. The what? funny part about all that stuff is, is I, I only did two seasons and I really don't remember half the stuff I've done. You I mean, did. You're like, a celebrity. The fact that you already did two seasons, that's weird. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Cheryl has won two seasons, Joey. You shut up. Runnered up and got out in I like blame, the first round. I blame Kim Johnson for that. It was all Kim's fault. <laughs> So we, I swear, we need to dance together because, you know, we're both old farts and we just need to do it. Oh, true. We could do it. I think we did. you call it dancing with the old schools. That's like after dark dancing with the stars. Ooh, oh, that'd be funny. Doing the that'd labada, the <laughs> forbidden dance. All right, one more. Let's see here. How about this one? This is J-Lo. Yes. Never danced in this song before, unless it was a pro number. Waiting for tonight. Okay. Waiting for tonight. Okay, William Levy. William Levy. You got William Levy, and you also had Ian Ziering in week six on that. This one. Don't, Joey, don't. <laughs> I tell that story all the time. I don't care. No, I got in so much trouble the last time. Jackman. He was. He was one of the serious ones. He was one. I was one of the serious <laughs> ones that was destined to win and there's nothing wrong with competition there's nothing wrong with any of that 100 percent, nothing wrong with that but Thing i remember is, you dancing with the stars and you refuse to shimmy you're not going to win people right 
Get it and together. The, but, and he finally got it, but it was just way too late, especially when you guys did Hound Dog. I we were already voted out. We were it, was already, it was already a wrap. Yeah, if you're going to fight with your dance teacher that you don't want to shimmy, there's a problem. Right. Yeah. You now, don't Cheryl, shimmy, you don't win with, uh, with all of these professional dancers, and I, I know it's a competition, does it get really heated back in the professional dancer world? You know, in your room, do you guys like get a like, Leave me alone. Max, get the hell out of here. You're annoying the living, he you know, loves, whatever. Yeah, it's something with Jason. Jason, we have to have Max on one day. What? I love Max. He Max is Max. the way Max cha cha chas is my favorite. I know, right? I have a major <laughs> man crush. When I went, listen, when I was watching that and when he would do it, I'm like, I, I would sit up and I'd be like, huh? All right? You're like, cha cha on my face, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then Carrie Ann and Nava would get up and say things, and they just and Bruno totally. The fact that I know a lot about this show, it's really sad. Sad. I'm like, did you like Google it yesterday? Or- no, 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 no. no. Listen, sad. I became a fan when Joey was on, and I was like, okay. And then I was like, I'm watching this, and right? uh, I mean, the, what was it when Cloris Leachman was on there? What a train wreck that was! Uh, you guys, do you remember the best Joey when she Cloris peed on? during uh, camera blocking, literally, like dancing with Corky Ballas, Mark Potter, and she got, she was laughing so hard and literally peed, peed. Like, we had to stop, like everything had to stop. Fantastic. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. That's How did so you, good. real quick, when you, when, you were the, when you first got on Dancing with the Stars though, because obviously it was, it was something a little bit different, of course. I know Strictly Come Dancing was, was in the UK at the time though too anyway, and it was popular, and I'm sure you knew about it, but. How is it going into something like that when you've done competitions all your life to do something where it's a competition, but now it's a little bit on a different level. And it's not so much yeah. of the level of, oh, I get to win this trophy because I danced a certain style. It's I'm dancing with a celebrity to win a trophy. You know what I mean? It's not, it's yeah. not, how did you yeah, feel that like the first time that you know, I was really, when I got asked to do it. So second season, I was living in Harlem at the time with my uh, dance partner and we, I just turned professional. So meaning when you just turned pro, you're not teaching yet. So like the fact that mostly all the dancers, I'd say except for the first generation. So I'd say me, Louis, Max, um, you had Nick Kosovich, Jonathan Roberts, like the main crew from the very beginning, we were actually professional. Like meaning like yeah. not, not professional, meaning not one is better than the other. Just like when you are a pro, cause there's a federation in ballroom, right? So it's like you're not allowed to teach necessarily unless if you're a professional, like there's rules. Huh completely like disqualified or whatever. Um, but so what's interesting is that we all came in, I would came in the less experience. I was the youngest, I just turned pro. I was like, I don't know how to teach, let alone teach someone who's never danced before, right? Cause that's a whole right. other- That's form. a whole nother, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you can be an amazing dancer, but maybe you're not a great teacher. And unfortunately, you know, on Dancing with the Stars, it's all about who can teach and who can change the language to fit your celebrity. Cause it's never like, if you don't know what a lockstep is, I'm not gonna continue to say lockstep. Like we're gonna just move on cause right. time is on your side on dancing, right? So you've got like the turnaround is so quick. So but that was the challenge. I was about to say, sorry to cut you off, but I think that's what, what set you and a couple of the others apart, definitely, because you were able to teach like you, Julianne, Derek. Uh, Kim was Kim was fairly good at that as well, really good. I mean, at least I know I picked up with shit. But how to interpret interpret certain things, I should say, interpret the steps where it's not Relatable. a technical term of saying it and how yeah. to get somebody to understand it. So it's almost, believe it or not, and I really take it this way, like my daughter has is on the spectrum of autism. Not that she's like completely like nonverbal and can't look around, but there's certain things that yeah. just don't connect. And totally. it's honestly very similar to someone that's trying to do a dance step. They just Absolutely. don't learn it the way that maybe you've learned it and somebody else has learned it a different way instead of, you know, yeah. whether your shoulders beat up and look it up, it's more or less of think of there's, no, there's no right or wrong way, but there you know what looks awkward and what doesn't. So if someone looks awkward, if I gave you a little like routine, right? Like a two minute um a section of your routine and you can't do it right away i'm axing it out like it's just we don't have time we right. don't have, what you guys are actually doing out there is stuff that you know maybe technically you're not amazing unless you have dance experience but still even if you do have dance experience it's harder to untrain your brain than it is to learn something new for instance right. like i went to argentina because i had this like turning point in my career i was like i don't think i like dancing anymore after doing dancing with the stars for so many seasons and just constantly just giving giving which i continue to love 
love to teach, but I don't, I wasn't learning anything or challenging myself. And I felt like I was an autopilot. So I went to Argentina. I wanted to learn how to Argentine tango, like by the Argentinians. Like I didn't want this BS anymore. Right. That's cool. So I went there and I, I have to tell you, it was so hard to untrain. Like everything in ballroom is super manufactured. So everything's exaggerated. Right. So you're right. never you're not pedestrian looking like, the reason why ballroom looks so good is because we're like twisting and turning. Like everything is completely, you're in opposition constantly. And so it's mm -hmm. the illusion that we look crazy. Like we look like we're completely disconnected from our upper body to our lower right. body. It's not the case, right? So, but that takes years, man. Like my dance coach wouldn't even give me a routine until I did a perfect rumba walk, which took two, like two to three years. Like would never let me do anything other than a freaking walk. And you know, what you guys do is pretty amazing. Um, but also, as far as like us, like the dancers go, it's harder because if you don't have, it's just experience. Like there's nothing yeah. else but that. Like you don't have to be an amazing dancer because you're dancing with somebody who doesn't have dance experience. So you shouldn't dance to your ability. You shouldn't. Right, right. You shouldn't be, yeah. Well, that, well, that was the other thing I think sometimes that. where certain professionals would be just full on out and the other the partner is not full out with them and it's like and then they get eliminated. it doesn't match right so right. you have to pull and that's a hard thing i'm sure with a professional where and i've seen it and i've done it where you have to pull back and yes. sometimes the professionals definitely have to pull back because it's like i don't want to show this person up i'm trying to help them become right. the best of their ability but you don't want to like be like smoking them you know out of the gate yeah. no no totally and you know there's this whole like controversy between the pro uh boys and girls because we find that you know with ballroom it takes two and the man no matter what i don't care like what you say the man leads which means the man must know the woman's steps like right. especially the way it is so for us professional girls, we can't just spin around. Like I, first of all, I was never trained like that. So you can't just stand here and just like spin the girl around and then like think you're gonna right. get points. Like the judges are not stupid, right? So it's like at the end of the day, you just look better. The power between two people's energy and connection and lead is just, you can't compare it. And so you know when people have been working on that. Well, Cheryl, I, you just said a something you've been more, trained on. Hang on, been, a few more <laughs> yoga sessions, Jason. Oh, dude, I'm in. What do you give me? So yeah. when you said trained, I mean, are there different disciplines like, you know, uh, like uh, martial arts? There's, you know, Kung Fu and, you know, uh, Toshindo and all this stuff. Are there different, uh, you know, disciplines? With, uh, yeah. Yeah. So like I, I um, when I was younger, by the way, if any of you guys are bored, you need to transfer all your VHS tapes and, and convert them. Like it, this, I've been so entertained the last two months trying to find content for my YouTube channel. Right. Anyway, so going back to this. I started, my mom first made me do it. And I was like, uh, ballroom sucks. That's for old people. Like, absolutely not. Like, there's no <laughs> way in heaven. Um, I grew out of my ballet tights. Like, I grew, had curves at like nine years old. Really weird. Um, so I was like, I can't do ballet. Then I saw kids my age with like fringe and all this stuff. And I was like, because a ballroom, you relate to like the waltz, right? Like cotillion. Right. That's what right. you think. Of. You don't think of like cha cha and hot guys and pro and tan and like lashes. Like that's not what you think. And then I went to a dance competition and I fell in love. So my mom actually made me do both styles: the international standard and international Latin. Now I truly believe, like when people say triple threats, I don't really believe that there's a triple threat because I feel like there's so much, right? There's so much information that you could end up just being mediocre and everything. Right or you can be an expert in one thing. And so I decided just to focus on the Latin side, which is why I was nervous to do Dancing with the Stars because there was so many different styles. And I'm like, if I can't teach it, how am I gonna do this? Like when it comes to the ballroom, because I didn't have as much experience, even though I did a little bit, but I never really competed right. um, on the amateur level with that. Huh. And with uh, when, when you see your uh, your celebrity first off, you go, oh, God. Or, I or it, 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 I'm sure that's happened. But would, would you rather teach somebody or have a partner that has like no dance experience or a little bit like Joey? I mean, he obviously has some. Or would you rather have the one that is like been professional or that has been a Disney star the whole time and has danced and done? No, I, I, I could actually even answer that a little bit because then what happens? Is I just wish that my I just want to like my partner. That's all. Like okay. him person we've we've I, I you know over the years you you you, you obviously have a, get a friendship with 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 cheryl same thing with kim and all these people and you you become you know invested in them in general because even after the show goes over i was always going over there hanging out or we did the tour together or there was a cruise or any of those other kind of stuff that was going on but it's interesting because of how i don't know it's 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 interesting that, that you're, like, you're either lifelong friends, friends or you're like yeah. yeah yeah 
But it's interesting to see when you sometimes there's times where you I'll see Cheryl and I already know I don't have to say anything. I'll look and I'll go, oh, dude, having a hard time with this, this person already. She's having a hard time because you can just tell. Or, yeah. oh, my God, she's doing great. She's killing it. She's happy. The guys. It, the I've never found like a perfect combo, nor I don't think there it, it, it exists, to be honest. Like you either have an amazing dancer who's so right. cocky, right? Like who's right. so like, oh, I don't need to rehearse. And then you're like, oh, God. And then you're, it's great because you can dance to your potential, but then you're like, oh, you're such a dick. Like, I wish, yeah. you were, <laughs> I wish you were actually a good person. And, or you have people like, no offense, Jack Osborne. Like, I love Jack, but because I loved him as, and I still do as a person, the more I root for you, the more I'm going to invest my time into sure, you. Right. So then you become like, instead of just this person, I was like, just get me out of here. Please eliminate me. Please. You're like, you know, I actually want to go far with this guy. Yeah, and you're invested. Also changing people's lives for the most part, hopefully. That's awesome. So, let's see, you know, let's see if you know a couple more of these songs. Okay, yeah, before you do that, the other side that I think nobody gives the credit to the Cheryls and the other professional dancers is twice a year, they would have to meet somebody, invade into their house, they would invade into their life, they would spend the whole time with them, then they would get literally like a month or two off and then get right back on it. And and what she said when she went to Argentina, like she wasn't sure what she wanted to dance, not only that, her month's off and when she goes out at night, she's photographed, people know who she is. The pressure that becomes a pro, totally. I don't think they I don't think they ever give it them credit because and there's always are you with your partner because you dance so close? Are you with this? Are you with that? And there's so much gossip and drama that your mental health of being like Cheryl, I'll be honest, I noticed towards the end you were like, I, I, I don't know what I don't know if I can I want do I want wait like there's so much confusion. So right. Yeah, I'm over right? we felt it because it's like it's not even the physical side of ballroom, right? It's not that. We, our endurance is fine. It's about the mental and then on top of it, it's the mental state, like you said, but also Forget the fame, right? It's about in the ballroom industry in its own. It's so dramatic. Like everything is like um, magnified times a thousand, man. Like right. everything, right? And it is gossipy. It is, you know, politics. And then you I it here, <laughs> and then it's even worse here because you're now in the public eye. But um, also, like, I never signed up for, I just wanted a ballroom dance. I mean, this is what I was going to do, right? I was going to just dan dance and li probably live in Harlem for the rest of my life with my Dominican dance partner slash boyfriend at the time. You know, like, I was fine with it. Like, it is what it is. My mom's like, you're never going to make it as a dancer, you know, whatever. Like, take over my company. And it's like, but that's not what I wanted to do. Like, with dancing in general, you rarely win any money. Like, people are like, why the hell do you do this? And it's it's because it's just for the passion. It's for the art. It really, as corny as that sounds, that's what it is. And it's hard when you're in the limelight on top of it because, like, honestly, some people embrace it and love it. It's still really, I'm st I still consider myself an introvert. Like, I don't necessarily love that type of attention. Right. Right. Um, but yeah, it's and it hasn't been easy with like I'm sleeping with all of my partners, 21 of them. I'm such a hooker. Like, who with that? Congratulations. <laughs> I know, right? Wow. <laughs> So and the other thing to that again, is, they always have to make stories anyway, though. That's the that's the no, problem. I mean, again, yeah, but there, Joey, there are times that it actually does happen, and when it does, it happens, and you see it. I mean, again, Kim and, and, and Robert, prime example. But like other ones where they're just so far fetched, like, come on, relax. It's it's yeah. it's not happening. I'm not I just don't think people like no, it's not happening. Yeah, I just <laughs> I don't like that nobody addresses the emotional, mental well being and right. the networks don't care because they just want to funnel you out. I mean this is true. I said I actually mentioned this and I said there should be a dance therapist. I yeah. mean first of all I would love that. I would love to play that role eventually. It should be. I'm yeah. telling you it is so psychological it fucks with your head. Sorry, I don't know where but like it messes with your head, you guys. It it really is. And it's about it's the person like I'll never forget Emmett Smith told me is like it's not how it's not how you start it's where you finish and this is where i prefer athletes because of their mental like ability to just focus and not listen to the garbage that's right. they don't you know, care yeah they're just boom and they, they and don't. literally they will just cruise down average scores average scores and then all of a sudden it's like they switch and they're the dark the dark right. horse that wins the competition i mean like we were up against mario lopez clearly has dance experience sure right like i was shocked but then also it's Again, it's the journey. It's not, no one cares if you're, you can't be a dancer coming on a dancing show competing against non dancers and then like have people be behind that. Like, I feel like it goes against you somehow. Right. Yeah, I also, I, I know going into it was just like, you know what, let's just have fun. I you know if we screw yeah. up, we screw up. I'm not trying to, yeah. I'm not, I'm not we're a not professional dancer. dancer here. Yeah. 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 But you know? Joey, you also have a career coming in and you have a career going out. They yeah. are constantly, I'm telling you, there right. needs to be a mental health person. The other thing oh, is, yeah. 
after I remember after season five or six, I would come back and I remember seeing dancers' cars that were Toyota Corollas are now Mercedes and they're yeah. now and I'm like, oh shit. And I remember talking to some dancers saying, hey man, save your money. You'll never know when it can end. And some of the dancers said to me, it, we were never expecting this to happen, so we're going all in. And it's it, you see the outcome of some of that now. It's kind of yeah, yeah and then you know, like at a time like this where we're lucky to even you know hopefully go back to the show right after like, season twenty nine supposedly is happening. But again, there's no set right. date. Like what you were saying, Mulva Hill, with the schedule. Like I miss that. Like I miss the opportunity to do all of that, right? Because like listen, you know, it's different now. It's just it's different times are changing we're not going to be able to do tours anymore we're not going to have an audience like at the end of the day you know we're entertainers and i think if anything during this pandemic entertainment the entertainment industry is just has had it the hardest in a way like i, I don't want to say that like oh, saving their money just put it that way jason is a dj that djs weddings parties events and he was right. extremely successful successful excuse me and it totally stopped so, yeah, nothing. Not a problem. You think about the dance world, the competitions that they're I mean, they held competitions. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, gone. Dance teachers done. Like it's it's really crazy. And well, I'm trying to come up with like some sort of dance program, but it's more for mental health. Like for me, dance has helped me with trauma in general. So it's like it's more about movement through like the, de the depression and the trauma that you've dealt with. But there has to be a way where we could all figure this out. You know what I mean? Right. No, hundred percent. We're gonna figure it out at some point in time. I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, listen. I, I I do a lot at Disney, and Disney puts on all these great dance competitions for uh, Pop Warner. Ever. I mean, there's a, a you know, one hundred fifty thousand girls that go to Disney for one vacation and to compete, and that stuff's gone. 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 Thank you. I mean, for at least another year how or two. Would, uh, how are you feeling about? Um, I don't know. I, I just again, who knows what happened or whatever the hell. But I think it's just interesting how. Tom and Aaron are not, they're just gone right now. Somebody else is hosting. Obviously, Tara is hosting it and stuff like that. How do you feel about that? And I don't, I'm not, uh, I know yeah. we're very drawn and close to Tom. That's the one thing. Yeah, but sure. I'm just saying, it's like one of those things where, in general and in time, just like anything, things come to an end on certain aspects and people yeah. move on. But I think it's weird because I think Tom, for me, was like the backbone of the show. I, you know? I always said this. And listen, I totally, um, I'm, I'm the first one to say I hate change, but I'm learning to accept it through the meditation and the self-help stuff that I've been doing. But like, listen, I, Tom it was my dance dad. He still is. And he'll always be like, we were both there from the beginning. And then if you right. notice, as people would start to leave the show, me and him were the only two standing from like the beginning. Right. And so right. Tom was a part of the wedding. Like, he's just like, it's just, it's hard for me, but um, I also can accept and, you know, that it's maybe time for a change. I don't know. That's not up to me to decide. Right. All I know is that like Tom will always be in my heart and I always feel like he is and will always be the heart of the show. I really do. Oh, he, 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 he definitely, he definitely was and definitely will be. Uh, I'm sure that's not the last you're going to see of him anyway, but also no. on top of that, you think of how many years he's been in this business anyway. And I think when some people do have that time to take that break, it's kind of like, you know what? I think gossip. it is time to have a little bit of a break. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even even for yourself, the same thing. You know, you took a break from it sometimes. You want to re you know, kind of either reinvent yourself or just take some time to take a break. Do art like this. I'm still doing it, as you can see. I'm like, look at this. It's freaking amazing. It's plug. <laughs> I got, well, all I got is one and I got number two, which is the white, which is right. Hey, Mulva Hill, let's fix this. Add diamondartclub.com slash Cheryl Burke because that's the only place you can get it, guys, for two weeks. He's long. horrible. He's horrible. Hold on. Here he goes. Here he goes. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm looking. I'm looking at you, by the way. I'm scrolling through all your photos, and it says here my at Diamond Club collection is officially. So that's why I went with that. Oh, totally. I okay. So, so at Diamond Art Club is the company, right? So they're on Instagram, but the actual okay. like link is not that. It's Diamond Art Club. Dot com. Yep. Slash Cheryl Burke. Telling you, Cheryl, this is the dumbest thing ever, but I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> I know. Right? Here's the question, Joey. Are you going to finish it? No at, no at. Erase the at, Mullen Hill. Jeez. It's a website. God. He's so horrible, Joe. Um, it's WWW. <laughs> Joey, I, this is why I need to listen to like Tony Robbins at the same time, because this is what I feel. I feel like I my brain. How, have you ever been to Tony Robbins' thing before? Sure. How crazy is this? Me and Matt, we were about to go, and then the pandemic hit. Oh, you never went yet. Oh, my God. Joe, get back on real quick. Tickets. We were one of what? his guests. 
Yeah, Black we Jeff. went. We, yeah, we went to my. We went to the one in Orlando where Gary V and Robin Hershevek talked. They did like a small one, and then I went to the Miami one where we did it. We went two days or one day. Yeah, we know we went to the to two days and we walked on the fire. And I know Julianne's tight with him. Oh, and two I, days? It's not two days. It's four days. Did you guys cut it in we, half? We only went to the two good days. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's yeah. cheating. Yeah, we. Uh, well, I used to work. That with was Tony. cheating. We just I didn't have time to do it. So he invited us, and we even yeah. said we can't do the whole thing. And he was like, "Dude, it doesn't matter. Come anyway for at least two days." Yeah. Wait, so yeah. how was the walking on fire bit? Because I was nervous about it. He burned his toes. Go I burned my him. toes. Let me tell you why. Because it, and it's amazing. I worked for Tony you Robbins. You weren't focused. Shut up, Joey. Shut back up. in ah, back in, in back there. in 1993 and 94, I worked for Tony Robbins. So I worked with really? him. Really? Yeah. So it was kind of cool to catch up with some people and so forth. A lot of people aren't there anymore. But anyway, so we went to walk on fire. And the one thing he says is, "Do not celebrate until they hose your your feet down." You psych yourself up. There's energy that you give off, and it's actually real. It's not BS. It sounds no, like totally. hoaxy, but it's real. I totally believe and it. And you psych yourself up, and I'm walking on the fire, and Joey's That's walking. So Joey funny. walked across, no problem. I walked across, and I stopped at the end and was like, "Ha ha!" And out of nowhere, I let myself go, and my feet got on fire. But that's you do that all the time, Joe. You do I that. Do. You, you blew out your hamstring, smacking your ass with racing. <laughs> you do that all the time. Yeah, I raced Christina Aguilera in a parking lot because she said she could beat me running. I pulled a hamstring. I was beating her, and I started slapping my ass, and she ended up beating me because I fell. Anyway, oh let's play one more song. and then All right, one more no song. All right, I want to play a song because I like it. Dude, I'm serious. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You dance with D.L. Hughley to this. That's why I'm stumped. <laughs> week three. Did he, he got blown out in week three, right? And he recently just got blown out, unfortunately. That's, a, that's James Brown. That's James Brown. Did Get on hear, the scene like a sex machine. What? Heel. Heel. Yeah, he passed out, right? Yeah. Did you chill? Because he got COVID. It's crazy. Oh. It's was so he crazy. was he wearing himself out? Like I've never seen anybody pass out yet. Like well, no, he actually had the coronavirus when he did this whole stand-up thing in Nashville. Jesus. So crazy. I hope he's okay. But like honestly, the fact that like that those types of places are open to me are kind of crazy. Oh no, Florida's crazy. Florida's I imagine they wanted to move to Florida, but now we're like, oh, no. Well, what it is, but I think what it is is because since they opened up all the bars, people just again, people just think, oh, it's okay. Yeah, you and, can't. Go okay, back. yeah, you know. it might have been okay to go to a bar, but wear a damn mask. Yeah, well, I know what's going on. Mind you, I'm coming out with a mask line. I'm going to figure out a way where we can still at least fit a straw up in that. <laughs> well, what I what I said we should do is what you should do. Here's here's a suggestion. I take ten percent, by the way. <laughs> is you do the hats, the beer hats. That's a lot. The beer hats, yeah. and then you run the strings, the wires right here in the mask. And then you girls that like don't want to look crazy. But you won't be crazy, crazy because it would be maybe be discreet. Maybe you put it inside the hat. Maybe it's like discreet. a little, like a little bag or something, like a little flask. You know, back in my day, I figured it out. I would have been figured it out already. By the well, way, back, there's there's a reason. Reason. back in the day, Joey. that nobody, Jace, that nobody knew, is we used to fill up tequila uh, water bottles with tequila. Okay, Wait, I don't think you know this, Joey. So I became this like go to Cheryl's trailer if you want to get wasted, right? So it was like I go to trailer, oh, I that. like over here, and so Babyface was really nervous during his like I think it was right before his tango performance, and he goes, Cheryl, I hear you have the alcohol, like give, you know, help me. I was like. Okay, like you're an adult, you can help yourself. Like I'm not forcing the alcohol right, down. It's there so in the room. Asked me, and I shall grant your wish. Then he forgot his whole routine on live television, and then he got eliminated that night. Oh my god, I kind of feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Again, he asked for it. I wasn't like, "Hey guys, let me." I, just it's the same <laughs> thing. I had a I had a margarita machine in my room, and I'm like, oh, yeah. you know, I'll yeah. fill the bottle waters up. We'll make margaritas, but. I always say to the person too, because obviously the different times. Because Monday we would do the performance, Tuesday. somebody would get a limit on Tuesday, oh, and one person shit. and one person would have the encore dance. So everybody else would drink it, but the person that had the encore dance, and we just make I fun of that. Right. That's the thing. It's like the Tuesday shows really got us in trouble because we'd go out Monday night, we'd rage, barely sleep, or maybe not sleep, go straight to set, and then the results show you're just sitting back waiting for hopefully not yourself to get eliminated, and if you do get eliminated, then you go straight to New York drunk. But like. Right. Back in the day when we used to be able to hang out with the producers, I i mean, like it was those clear water bottles, those red yep. cups. Anytime you saw a coffee cup that had vodka in it. That had vodka or tequila in it, 100%. <laughs> I mean, they they, they, they ixnade that after a while. Didn't they? Derek and I did GMA one morning, and I think it was, this was back in Diane Sawyer days. 
Diane Sawyer goes during commercial break, went up to Susan, my publicist, it goes, you need to fix your kids. Like they, they read that out. Like, oh, yeah, but it's like one of those things. It's like, it's the only time that we actually get to celebrate is after the show, but then you're whisked away to go do right. something. You're like, or like oh. my, you know, even before Dancing with the Stars, we used to live like Olympians. I never drank before, like ever. So I was like, get out of jail free cart. Oh my God, I never went to college. I'm like at frat parties. This is like my version right. of like celebrating or just actually getting drunk for the first time. But see, again, with your okay. mental health. On Monday night, you guys, okay. no, no, Monday night you get I'm off the stage. Know. No, I'm serious. Monday night, get off stage. You guys talk about, okay, it looks like you're in the past because you had nines, nines and nines. You looks like you're gonna go the next day. So, okay, they give you music right away for next week. This is the dance you have to do. You can't even enjoy the fact you survived because then on yeah. Tuesday morning, you're already rehearsed. And then on Wednesday, you rehearsed in costumes. Then it's just like, no. Nah, oh, so that's stop. what happens. But when we had a results show in Mulvihill, Hill, that Monday night was the only night, right? Because they wouldn't give us their music till the end of Tuesday's show. Yeah, correct. Correct. Yep, yep, yep. But now, it's, yes, it's different because, but back then it was like Monday night was like the night if you wanted to go out and that was it because I would choreograph and I still do. Like when I get my music, I have to just get it out of the way. But sometimes like other pros, they just go in there and they're like, they just have the celebrity sit there and watch them choreograph. I think that's a big no-no. Yeah, I, I didn't, thank God Kim never did that either. Kim never no, did that. Kim, Kim literally would already have something choreographed yeah. and already done. You know, maybe she might move the combo around there, maybe like little different combos that yeah. we can flip flap or move around but it was never time never making it up yeah we never really made it up i think only i think maybe the freestyle was maybe the only thing because i added my two cents into it and that was of it of course you did joey see you you're one of those dancers yeah you joey. no i just here. added my two cents and see if it worked if it worked i didn't go well you know we need to do this you choreograph like half of your routines get out of here <laughs> hey joey do me a favor take your camera Go down on the thing. Show exactly what this thing is once again. Yeah, you get it right there. Diamondartclub.com backslash Cheryl Burke. Let's see if I can. Code. Joey, I'm going to take everybody out. You zoom in to show them what you just did just so it looks bigger on the screen. Okay? Well, hang on a second. Go, I got hang tight. My, Joey, right, hang hang tight. Don't be mad at me. Shut up. Did I take Joey out? No, I didn't. I can't hear him, though. Maybe you guys can hear him. Hold on. Let me get out and back in. Go ahead, Joe. Go down. I'm trying to. Hang on. I got to see how I do this now. Hang on a second, guys. There's a weird way to actually. I'm shutting off. Camera. How come I can't? Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. All right, so now, never mind. So, as you can see, you I made only did so far just the orange, and then I just started doing the white. That looks great. It's not, it's kind of tedious. I ain't going to lie. But it really is. is all of those have to be filled. Those are completely filled, right? Yes. That whole thing. I will literally love you if you can just try and finish it. Oh, no, no, no. There's no try. I'm going to finish this son of a bitch. I might you need to listen to ever like, actually follow through with this diamond painting. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. Because like, okay, Jack is like, oh, I love it. Cut to like a week later. Where's your diamond painting? Meh. Lyra, Remini. She's like, oh, oh, this is so stupid. And then she's just so slow, you know? So it's like, then she talks a lot. <laughs> no shit. This is not again, I, Joey. I like it. What's, I enjoy what's it. in your hand? Show what's in your hands. Is tweezers? Okay. So basically, hand? hang on. I didn't know what the hell this was at first. It was a little so hard. You get a kit like this, this right? Hold on. Get a okay, kit. Okay. And yep. it comes with everything that you need. The wax is only to pick up the rhinestone or the yeah. drill because there's so you actually take it on the drill. Can. Those are called drills. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. So you take a little bit of the wax, you just press it, and it goes in that oh, little it? hole right there. Very, very little. And then yeah. when you're able to, you have the little your little bead tray, tray, and then you pick the little son of a bitch up, and then it's on there, and then you find where it says number two, because that's what I'm doing right now, and you slap it on there. Wait, I'm going to have to show you something. Are you ready for this? I what? am hooked up with all the diamond painting tools ever. Hold, please. Oh, gosh. I can only imagine. How many of these little jewel diamond things do you have, and have you dropped them? So when you're ready for this, you have a diamond painting ruler to get your freaking lines nice and straight. See you guys, look, you just oh, like- Oh, I see. Oh, who cares then you about got it? this, jack it up. you can buy all of this on Amazon and you just need to like go through it and just make sure it's extra straight. This is for the, all my OCD people out there. <laughs> oh, so you're, yeah, I'm, I'm probably all sloppy, but these are like curvy things, so that's good. That's okay. There's also the checkerboard method, Joe, where you have to do every other one so that your lines are nice and straight. Oh no! I'm just, well. I'm doing all the whites basically, and, no. and the, the whites are curves, though they're all curvy and round. They're wings. 
No, but you know what I mean? Like if you do every other dot, just in general. Sure. sure. Fine. The fact that you even know what to do is pretty impressive. You want to know why? There. Do you want to be? No, nobody's here. I'm by myself. And even that funny. You want to, want to honestly know why? My ass went on YouTube. I went right? on YouTube. I watched that. Open it up. I watched. I mean, look. I mean, you guys can go to my YouTube channel and you can check out my tutorial. I have a whole tutorial. Look how much is in this son of a bitch. Looks like you're holding up condoms. Right? Yeah. They're, they're actually, they're, they're gonna. I'm gonna melt them. They're gonna become condoms. <laughs> All um, different, different colors. So people can go on my YouTube channel if you want a tutorial, like an actual tutorial. Oh, dude, it's ridiculous. That's awesome. All right, Joe, put okay. up, so YouTube, put up you got that Diamond Club. What is the podcast you said? Did you say podcast That's earlier? Soon to a theater oh. near you. Podcast. What were you? But what were you doing today? Later on today. Her Later YouTube on today, channel. my YouTube. I'm shooting content for my YouTube channel. I'm trying to shoot all the content up till 2021. Because if I do dancing, we would start soon. Then you'll have all the content. You have everything. Correct. Oh my and god! I have, sure. I have a mask line coming out in two weeks. No joke. I've been really busy this quarantine. That's, that's awesome. What I'm about. But th I think that's what's that's great about it. I mean, some people have dropped the ball and not done shit like me. And then there's some people, or do this? We do this show, but some <laughs> people have not done anything. I know. know, I know, and that, and, and you know what? The, the like the suicidal rate has gone up, and it, it is. Listen. As long as you can just find something, even if it looks stupid like diamond painting, but it does help with your mental health because it gives you the time to then maybe listen to like motivational speeches and stuff like that. I mean, who knows? Right. One step at a time. I find that meditation saved my life, like real talk. So it's just different for everybody. Yeah. Well, no, that, and I that, found... but... Go ahead, Joyce. Oh, Jason. No, I was going to just... say it's really amazing. Shut up, Jason. <laughs> what I was going to say is, no, it's really amazing that you actually do find your peace with that. Some people some people still have anxieties that cannot find that yet, whether it may, totally. may be meditation, whether it may, may, may be counseling or something. But yeah. some people still haven't found it yet. So I, you know, I think you have to educate yourself. I don't think you just find it right away or you have a perception about something doesn't mean it's the real way that you need to look well, at but, it. You know, but, I had to take an online course for three weeks to learn how to meditate. Like That was the only way I was convinced. But also on top of that, you know, it's okay to come out of your comfort zone. You know what I mean? Just like in the sense of dancing with the stars, it's, it comes out of the, a lot of people's comfort zones. And that's why sometimes they do so well on it because they're like, oh my God, this is something completely different that I've never experienced before. And I want, I want to learn more about it's it. Or it's not the you feel though, Joey, like when you, when you achieve just that little like goal, like set little goals for yourself because yeah. when you set un, like impossible goals you'll never, never get there, you know? And so I just, one step at a time, guys, one day at a time, like, just try and wake up and be a better version of yourself. That's all you can Well, do. I had a lot of goals today, and they just got ruined because I'm going to finish <laughs> this freaking thing. I know. Listen, I found I, – Joey, Cheryl, I found my thing last night, and it's yoga. Yes, you I did. Have no, I, I have no air conditioning upstairs, and it's going to be hot yoga today. So get ready. It's going to be awesome. Oh, dude, it's it's that's a good thing, though, but you it's brutal, really but it's good. Like, um, Joey, you started texting in the middle of it or some shit. Like, I don't know what you're doing. Please do. I will. Of course I will. All right, Cheryl, we're going to play one more song for you. Let's yeah, play one more song, song for Cheryl. Let's do it. Ready? Here we go. One more song for Cheryl. Tell me who you danced with with this one. I wasn't with Sheila, was it? No. So you did do the jive in week three with this young person. Right. It was an iron, was it? No. I wore a zebra. I wore like a zebra and turquoise get up. <laughs> you know, it's just off. You mean to tell you? Uh, let's see. English is not his second or his first language. It's all my partner. Okay. Um, <laughs> William Levin? No. Christian de la Fuente. That's it. There you go. Christian Who was de it? la Fuente. Christian de la Fuente. Telenovela. Ah. I think I've had every. Oh, you're welcome, Lauren. That's very sweet. Um, I think I've had every type of partner. All I know is that I prefer not to dance with actors. Thank you, Dina Katz. <laughs> And yeah, I, and I we, it. How I many times have we said married one? Times, how many times? How many times I say though, if we dance, we would have fucking crushed it. There would have been no. I just said earlier, it, but like, kind of said it. I didn't want to. They like, didn't want. They didn't want us to dance together. That's what it was. 
Because they were like, I and Deering would be perfect for Cheryl. <laughs> Joey, Joey, I've never seen you this calm, dude. Like for real. Like you are like zoning in and out. Which is I'm awesome. coming to LA. I'm going to drink freaking tea and smoke a hookah and weed in You're LA. Coming over here here and we're in diamond thing. I've got, by the way, let me just give you one tip a light board or an iPad is a game changer. Really? Why? Because you can see underneath the canvas. Underneath the canvas, so you can see. Light bright. Without it. Like light bright. Yeah. Because yeah. after a while, your eyes will start going crazy because you can't see where the freaking dots are. The freaking. Correct. Freaking or you could be like me, like geriatrics. Like I just, I use a magnifying glass, dude. I'm not even going to lie. Well, now what you made me do is I'm a little anal now. And now I just keep trying to correct the fucking lines. Well, you got to get Joey, one. You should get some glasses like this. This will help. Joey, get some glasses like this. There oh, you yeah, go. Oh, that's, that could come in handy. That, that. Joe needs those glasses. It'll be fit perfect for his eyes. Also, Joe, you can look at that comment. Tweezers. You should use tweezers. That would help. I'm so far, so good. I mean, again, I have a steady hand. It's not that bad. But again, I can help you. Uh, nope, it's all about me. Forget that. I'm doing this myself. This is very therapeutic for me. Your daughter. She, I need it. to get one. No, no, but I need to get one for her. She'd probably love it. I'll get. What's yeah, the, I'll send one to you. Sorry. What's the hardest one you think that you've done so far? Um, it's okay. So it's like, okay, hold please. I've got this other one, by the way, I'm not a cat woman, but like, these are like full canvases right here. Ooh. So this nice. is another one part of my, uh, diamond painting line. But like, if you see right here, it's a full canvas. So this whole picture is pixelated. So what Joey has is a partial canvas. So it's not as hard. It's yep, I hear you. Canvas. Where the hell are you? I don't know. It's blacked out, but I'm I'm listening to you. So I'm going to come back in and come back out. But what the hell? Those are all jewels, right? Yeah. So also, by the way, you don't have to follow the rules. Like if you have some rhinestones laying around, Joey, you could just get creative and just put some. Yeah, sure. Because I always have rhinestones laying around. I know you do. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's like the hardest, I guess, because it's a full canvas. That's awesome. You should put those designs on your mask on the front. I mean, as opposed to. Doing the beads, I mean, I'm sure you can make it all happen. That's I awesome. Have like having people diamond paint their own mask, right? Done. I love that. That's a great idea. I know. Just, we need to hurry up Sorry. with these masks. Sorry. Again, some happened with the camera, so I was just coming back. But anyway, I'm telling you, I'm not kidding you. This whole show has been very zen for me, and I appreciate you doing it. Yeah. I, I looked at this going, what the hell am I doing with this shit? Seriously. And I was like, I, I wasn't going to send you one, to be honest. So I was like, is he really going to do this? But actually, you're the only one that has done it. <laughs> Damn right. Screw all those people. See, I got I, my kid would lose her mind probably. But she. this is actually a really good learning tool for her. So the, the only crappy thing about diamond painting is just the organism. Like you need to organize all your drills instead of leave it in those little plastic bags. Like so I get an organizer from Amazon. He would die. And I full on like that takes just a couple hours, but it's so worth it. You want to see oh, what it looks OCD. like? Yes, please. Let's okay. see it real quick. Okay. I'm very excited. I'm like a geek. I love it. But my thing is, is, is I, I, for me, I'm going to have to do one bag and finish it. Like meaning I'll finish all the white before I do anything else. Right. So I won't separate them. Here you you go. know what I mean? Yeah, I, I hear you. See, this but is what again, it, when you're, when you're heavily, in, but when you're heavily invested, like you, what the fuck? <laughs> wow. So this will honestly, it'll save you time in the long run because the thing is, you get static in those bags, and then you're just gonna give up, right? Because they just know what, into what. And you can get that at Cheryl Burke on Amazon for 19.95. She's got yeah. a whole thing going on. You're gonna no, be on awesome. QVC soon. I I was there just recently. No, See? like two years ago. Done. But no, this fun. is awesome. I'm serious. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm not lying. Let me know if your uh, daughter want one, wants one, because I'll just send one over. I will find. Yeah, once I once I maybe have her try this out with me. Yeah. Because I know for a fact she'll be like excited for the first maybe hour, and that'd be the end of it. Show sure, was making the room. Be so happy. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, I'm not a Virgo, but I'm just OCD. So. <laughs> Joe, anything else before we let uh, Cheryl go, Joe? Or is he too? Busy no, now? I think it's great you did it the whole show. I mean, you're very calm. You're uh. <laughs> Good. I like it. Yeah, we need to get more. I'm telling you. <sighs> yeah, well, the hell, are you ready for a diamond painting? Yeah, I, I, I text Sue. I said, hey, I need a diamond painting. I'll give you a picture of my back and you can diamond paint it. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weird. Are you serious? I'm just saying, whatever gets you to diamond paint. 
Okay, I'm in. Okay, we're back. <laughs> You're an idiot. Uh, so one no. more time. She's always been one of my favorites because she's real. She's honest. She's funny. She comes from a real family. She's good people. And she's what you see is what she's always been like. She very truthful and honest. Shit. Got me in trouble, but now it is what it is. Like you can just read my face. Like there's nothing I can I can't hide anything. No, we know <laughs> yeah, Cheryl. We know that, Cheryl. <laughs> okay. I love it. Well, Cheryl, but thank I, you so much for coming in and making Dewey uh, calm. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm, usually I'm all over the place. Today I'm kind of like. I know. You guys normally, I was expecting to have some other guests. Like I, you guys normally mix no. it up. It's all you, baby. All no, you. We wanted, we wanted to talk to you because we have, we always, when I actually know somebody, we actually have conversations. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? I mean, as far yeah. as you know, like, like just things and how you've been. And, yeah, exactly. But I, yeah. again, seriously, I really appreciate, I'm actually, I'm, I'm happy and not happy that you got me this and sent yeah. me this because now I'm. I'm hooked. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Morgan's been replaced by Diamond Pay. Yeah, Dad. Exactly. My dad. True. That is true. Jesus um, Christ. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much, Cheryl. Thanks, Thanks for coming on. Thank Cheryl you. Burke, everybody. Make some noise. Seriously, man, this is not fun because now I'm I I I You're you know, in it. I'm you freaking can't in stop. it. It sucks. You can't stop. You won't I'm stop. sucked in, man. I'm sucked in. Seriously. You're this into this, no dude. Joke. I haven't seen you like this in a while. So last night we did some yoga. We're going to wrap it up real quick. We did a little oh. yoga. Um, we're going to get a little clip real quick. Let's see part of the yoga. Those of you that missed it, uh, here's one part. <laughs> chata Runga. <laughs> oh, Rum Chata. I love the Rum Chata. <laughs> I'm dog. Feel that back stretch. Take that chest up to the sky. <laughs> Each side. No rhyme or reason, no numbers, right or wrong. Just do a few bicycles. <sighs> Jason. Jason. I'm freaking dying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like wrestling with a bear over here. I can't do the bicycle. There's no, I can't. You can, you will, right? All right, ready? This is the happy baby. I know you feel it in your back. Pretend like you're pressing those heels against the wall. Stretch your arms back. Come on back up one more time. <laughs> oh, you guys. Come on back up one more time. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, we're doing that. Come, <laughs> on. That to <laughs> Come on back down. <sighs> now, you could do another one of those, or if you want to challenge yourself, you could grab your ankles behind you. Oh, yeah. that's what we're doing. And lift everything up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't even reach my really ankles. Really squeeze it. That's okay, then, Judy. Jason, Jason, you'll get there one day, I promise. Yes, you, you will. will. Yes, you Look, will. Look, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> now, we were laughing. I think the reason why we were laughing, too, is now <laughs> That because we realize how hard it actually is. Oh. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, we were laughing because of the fact that we really, it's, it's not easy. Oh, it's not easy. Oh. Jason, it's not easy at all. Jason, you were looking up so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> me? We I'm doing it. I'm flying <laughs> like a Superman. That's how you get isolated, though, and you hear everything. You hear, like, everything. The, the, yeah. The, the breathing. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, we had a, somebody who was on there with us, Monica, last night. I just want to get her opinion real quick and see what she thought. Monica, what did you uh, – <laughs> first of all, are you sore today from yesterday? Yes, my shoulders, triceps. Mine, too. Quads. Really? Yeah. Down dog will do that to your shoulders. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> my scapula, my yeah. underneath, I'm like, ugh, I felt it today. And chaturanga will get your triceps. 
Oh, if that rum chata? Correctly. Yeah, yeah rum chata. chata. If you do it correctly, it it works your triceps. <laughs> Ugh. So overall, <laughs> as far as I mean, obviously you said last night that you've done it before and you've experienced uh, yoga before. So overall, your opinion? Did you think it was thirty minutes? Thirty-two minutes was the actual since the first position to the last position. Um, I mean, I'm not setting this up to do more or anything. I'm just curious. What was your take on it for somebody who's done it before? Because because my opinion last night, we were all texting each other and we were all saying, "Hey, man, there was something special about that." We don't know what it was. I mean, obviously Jason was very funny, but Joey gave it. A great go too. Everybody really put their time and effort. Matt was doing it. We yeah, kept I wasn't trying to half it. Yeah, no, everybody kind of went for it. And Jason got up this morning and biked five miles. I mean, he's he's in it now. So I'm just curious nice. your opinion and talking to a bunch of idiots. What uh, <laughs> if you'd like to continue it or do it again, or what did you like or not like about it? Oh, absolutely. I would totally do it again. I was when we were doing bicycles and you put Jason up. I started laughing and was like, well, I may not have gotten an ab workout from the bicycles, but I got one from laughing. <laughs> so. Ah, yay for me. I'm getting in shape. <laughs> you have yay no idea me. how dumb this thing is and what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Oh, shit. The only thing that I would, that I would say is maybe like, so, like if the instructor, whoever it is, happens to be like maybe throwing some modifications for people who mm. like can't. Right. do certain things right. like i've taken yoga so like i know modifications to do but i don't think that especially, i don't know if especially others with, with us yeah. that like yeah. no bullshit not even making a joke but like me and jason can't do certain things where i can't i even you know you got to get a block or something and if you don't have a block you, what do you use and i use like a book or something like that so you got to kind right. of improvise a little bit but also have a little bit of a, a person to teach you like a different movement but yeah Listen, I, I I will vouch for myself, and I'm sure there's people out there in our audience that are like me that probably haven't moved in God knows how long. So just any type of movement, book, not no book, modifications. I just did it, and I was I'm going for it. Oh yeah. So That's I'm good. still, you know, I'm sweat. I, I mean, sweated. I, I was in it for the Lululemons, and damn I damn right you were. Right. Where did you get those working? <laughs> Which, by the way, we had that conversation late last night that. I called the local Lululemon store and they're pulling some Lululemons for Mr. Jason Logan. Oh, and we will be going yes. to do a video of Jason Logan trying the Lululemons on. Yes. Oh. As long as they're not like Spanx. Cause I tried Spanx on one time and almost dislocated my shoulder trying to get out They don't out come of off. Them. That's not no. easy. <laughs> I'm like, can somebody, I'll pay for these. Just get some scissors. Get me out of this. Yeah, I pull my back doing that. I have a photo. Yeah. So I pull my back trying to get it out. It's like, dude, this ain't working. Well, Monica, I'm glad you joined us. Uh, Monica, you know, sad news. I know about your father, and uh, he had COVID. Um, you had a charity going, right? Uh, somebody told me something about a charity. Tell me a little about that. Yes, we do. So um, yes. my siblings and mom and I actually right. are, um, we started a foundation right. to help minority families that are struggling during the pandemic. Sure. It's uh, it's starting. It started. We've already helped us. Uh, I think six or seven families in El Salvador, which is where nice. where, where we come from, where my family comes from, and gotcha. we're hoping to bring it here. Um, so we what actually is it? have. What is it? Do you go online? Do you? Does somebody um, go online and donate money? How does that work? Yeah, we have a GoFundMe right now that we're okay. donating um, food and goods. I know we're working with a church in El Salvador that gives food out to people. To help them out with that, what would that be under? Um, like, how would I find it? Um, let me pull the. I link. can't say yoga. Yoga, laughing at us, Monica. I can't say that. <laughs> no, Monica. Monica, you should type it in the comments, and then we'll put it up because Shut Joel up, screwed Jason. up. Jason, yeah, it's, 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 no, it's long too, so I don't want to. Uh, well, then you're gonna have to do it. Yeah. They definitely do it. They definitely, yeah, definitely do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And Monica, I want to tell you um, that. We uh, two weeks ago, a week ago, I know when you were going through a lot of craziness in your life. Um, I got a note from somebody that said you wanted to thank us because that was the night that Jason and Joey were shaking their ass and jumping around like jerks. And I guess you were <laughs> your family, and your whole family was like, okay, and even the saddest moment, we're laughing at these idiots. So, <laughs> yes, <laughs> there it is. yes, um. yeah. So I mean, well, my brother and mom, my brother happened to be. I mean, my me and my mom were still COVID positive at that time that we knew okay. of. Right. Uh, we're both since clear. Clear. We were both right. negative. 
Um, right. But my brother happened to be here like socially distanced and I heard it, I heard Matt mention it. And so right. I like ran out of my work area and was like, you guys listen, <laughs> they're talking uh, about, they're talking about us right now. Right, like right, I wasn't right. expecting it. So they happened to be here oh, no, when I, you guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because that was the note, here. That's the, note, that's the note I got that her family was together. Um, and I guess your mom was like, are they really getting naked? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> no, 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 she didn't, she didn't see any of that, actually. Okay, okay good. Good, good, good. No, well, that, she didn't that's see positive. any of that. I mean, I'll sh I mean, if you want me to show her, I will. No, no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, just, I, just remember, I just remember that day we spoke about you, and, and like I said, you were going through a really difficult time, and it's not, you know, it, some of you probably, you're never going to get over. We just learn how to deal with it and, and learn how to deal, you know, with the, with the passing of your dad. And, and just know that we support you and, and, and we're yeah. going to try to support this again. I'm going to pull this up. I, and I don't want you to get upset because because we had fun today. And I'm so glad you, I know you're a Cheryl Burke fan. I know you enjoy Dancing with the Stars. So if there's anything we could do to hopefully put some kind of smile on your face, uh, we would definitely try to do that. So yeah. do I that. Mean, try to help her out in, in honor of her dad. What was your dad's name? Uh, Jose Roberto Alvarez. Oh, now there's always a lot of names. How is that? I know. I what know. What is that about Hi. being El Salvadorian? What is that? Listen, <laughs> don't mess with us. We crazy. Your names are like your names are like this long though. <laughs> no, um, it, it. I mean, it was his dad's name, so it just got passed on. It's my That's brother's right. name too. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, it's funny because I know some people who have four or five different names in their. Yeah, I, name. I think I think in a lot of Latino countries too, it's the it's they use. The father's last name, and then they add the mother's maiden. The mother's name. right. Yeah. Yep. You know that's a southern so. thing too. That's a southern thing in the states, in the Carolinas. Oh. Yeah, they add oh, names. Wow, I didn't, you, that is? Been, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's it, not. Yes, it is, dude. South Carolina. Yes, is that what they call like Ricky Bobby? No. <laughs> so I'm from the South. We ain't doing all that. I guarantee we you. We might marry sisters and cousins and first cousins and stuff. We ain't taking names. No, no, there's names because I know people that put their names together. <laughs> so he catches so that. So, Monica, what's your story today? Um, what are we doing today? We're done here. What are we doing? As far as like, what's my rest of my day? Yeah, we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Joey, that's what, what Joey's doing. Oh, well, legitimately, just having a conversation with you. Okay. Yeah, we know what um, Joey's doing. Um, I'm probably gonna go back to work. I mean, I work from home right now because I've been quarantined. <laughs> Do we right. like working at home or are we ready to like to get the hell out? I, I'll be honest. I'm very hesitant to even go back into the office just because of having gone through it. Having right, gone through exactly. COVID, it you don't was want not, to do that again. Right. Exactly. No, it, no, it, it was not, it was not pleasant. And um, so I'm very anxious and just hesitant, but I, we are, I do work in a place where my I have an office I share with another girl, but we show up on different days and I show up once a week and I come in through the back. So nobody, I can close the right, door and just know, be like, okay, none, of, still, you none of you bother, none of you bother me, but still right. I'm just like, it's no, where do you live? Yeah, exactly. No, I'm sure. Where do, you, where do you, where do you live, Monica? Uh, Anaheim by, oh, right by Disneyland. Like Got it. three miles away. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're Orlando. We're about Joey's close to Disney. I'm about minutes. Uh, he's 15 minutes yeah. off 25, and Jason <clears throat> went out to the rich people area. Yeah, I, I'm, I live where rich people live. Exactly with no AC, maybe no AC. Been, mother, maybe he should have been the bougie one. Oh, right, Jason. Hey, I yeah. don't have AC, and it's going to be 96 today. Well, like, yeah, it, it, in Bucky. Anaheim though, you don't have humidity. We have humidity, Monica. Sometimes we do. And no, it's not like this. This is oppressive heat. <laughs> no, no it's like, I'm sure, it's like, I'm sure not, not at all. It becomes swamp ass is what happens. Yeah. You to call it. I'm sitting here right now after taking a shower from my bike ride, and I got swamp ass. I got to get some powder <laughs> out. Jason, why would you get angry? You tilt your head back, and you deliver your life. I got to let you know with some emphasis. <laughs> with some emphasis. And by the way, I did say she was erotic, not exotic. Who? Cheryl Burke. I used the word erotic, exotic. I flipped oh. the words over. Yeah, it's all right, Joe. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize it until all the comments were like, hey, pig, you said the wrong word. I'm like, oh. Well, that's like, that's like saying sensual or sensuous. Ah. What? Yeah. Good point. Mm. Okay, Jason. People, Joey, are sensual. Vegetables, Joey, are sensuous. 
It's from Animal House. You guys figure it out. Okay. Uh, Monica, thank you for joining us. Someone, someone in the comments said, we do have the Santa Ana winds. And oh, it's yeah. Yeah. Fire, fire season. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah, good time. Right. We, got, we got a little bit of a storm coming this weekend for us. I yeah, heard. I too. hope you guys are safe. Uh, it's a and category I, one. No one's going to I just wanted to express my gratitude again. Thank you. I see you. Don't lie. I'm listening. <laughs> He's like this. I'm listening. Go ahead, Monica. Go ahead. You, you, are, you got the floor. Again, Go ahead. This is my zen. I'm focusing and listening to everything that's uh. going on. This needs to be done. Okay. Go ahead, Monica. I, just, I apologize. Again, express my gratitude so, so much. My family and I truly appreciate it. Um, I've been watching. I've been watching... Maybe not not since the beginning. Like I just started watching the show. I caught it randomly one day, and I was like, "Oh, this is fun." And then you know, all this happened, and it was still something that was you know getting me through and Good. putting a smile on my face. And even after you know my dad passed, I was here. I was at the show like a couple of days later and watching, and I was just like, "I need this right now because I just I need I need a smile and I need a laugh." And I know that's what he would want. That is Good, right? that is really well. I'm glad. I'm glad that you 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 know again. It's it's never easy, and it, I'm glad that you kind of feel that way to keep coming and keep coming to see us and laugh at our stupidity, which is always fun. <laughs> but you know, again, we, we we really thank you. You know, obviously, yep. if it wasn't for you guys and for people that are watching. You know, we honestly wouldn't be doing it. So, because you know how people even now people are always like, oh, you know, the pandemic, things are going back to normal. People are going back to normal and all that stuff, and it's like. It's funny when all these people did all these podcasts, and now all of a sudden, since people are going back to work, they're like, "Oh, we ain't doing it no more." I'm like, "This is this is a great outlet to have a conversation, to do different things, to keep it alive." So we're gonna keep it as long as we can, regardless. I mean, again, we're not we're not making any money out of it. We're not trying to make really any money out of it. If it, if it happens, hey, that's great. But we just love doing it because we enjoy doing it, and we love we love making people laugh. So we thank you for for really you know being there for us as well as much as us being there for you. So anything we help out, we try as much as we can. So thank you, Monica. I have yeah. two questions for you. Um, one is, yeah. would your dad would he have laughed at Jason Logan trying to do the bicycle? <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> would he oh, ask the question? Yeah. What is wrong with this guy trying to do the bicycle yoga dance or whatever the hell that? Yeah, was. what happened? You know what though? He's gonna do it. He's gonna get to it though. I'm gonna there. get to it. Listen, it's a coordination thing too, Joey. It's coordination. I was like, oh, uh, well, okay, again, it's the belly thing too. I couldn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I came to you, Monica, a few times. You know that, right? I came to you a few times during the thing uh, during the yoga. I shot you a few times where you, oh, you had the right pose. Yeah. Like, did you re did you watch it back? I haven't watched all of it yet. Okay. Yeah, watch it back. You'll okay. see. You okay. come in and out. You're coming in and out. You you were in good with all the poses. You were in all the good poses. So. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> again, thank I'll you try. for joining us. And uh, stay as, again, yeah, as strong you. as you can stay. Be safe. And, yeah. yeah. And the one thing thank I really you. hope for you is you find a way to deal with when you watch TV and people say this is not big of a deal, your head's going to want to explode and you're going to yeah. break that TV. And I really hope that you find the strength for whatever your spiritual higher power is, you find the strength to fight through that. Because that, to me, would be probably the most weighing on, like, you, you really, you know, because people, everybody has an opinion. Yeah. Monica has a life that she is living through. So just know that we support you and we hope everything goes well. And thank yeah. you for joining us as always. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you Good soon. Yeah. Okay. Bye, bye, Monica. Bye. Take care. Bye. Take care. I'm sorry, I'm so enthralled in this, dude. I swear to God, this is just I know taking you are. up my time, bro. Can we stop the show, please? I'm seriously going to faint. It's like not even funny. It's that hot? <laughs> oh, my God, Joey. It's like a freaking sauna in here. Why don't you come on over, Jason? Come on. Well, I'm gonna go here. downstairs first, and then we're gonna cool off down there. I couldn't take all of this. Come on over, business. Joe. Why don't you come on over? Would you guys come on over tonight? Come we'll on hang on out. On. You, you're, you're gonna be totally preoccupied with that, and then I'm gonna have to get involved with that. I can't deal with all that mess. I think I Matt well, can't like unless you have. I'm gonna hit the higher notes. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Let's see what uh, Matt was in a weird mood this morning. Matt, you good? I'm right here. Here, how's everybody doing? Good. Fantastic, yeah. man. I'm doing this. this Matt, is very therapeutic. You are, I've always, never seen you so focused on anything since I've oh, known you. Yeah. It's incredible. It really is. It's so stupid. <laughs> Jason, if you want to come here, it's 80 degrees and, and oh, it's perfect. Shut up. I hate you um, because you're in a nice place. <laughs> it's literally, I get it. I get why people live in the middle of nothing up here. It's pretty great. 
I did you go to Goober and Sally's uh, like uh, general store today and get provisions? Because you were at a store with a mask on. We're talking. I went to a store called Angles. If you're from up in these parts, oh, I know what Angles is all about. Place yes, called Angles, nice. and ain't the Piggly Wiggly over there in Tennessee. All right, mm-hmm. it's the mm-hmm. Angles. Hey, have you ever been right. to Harris Teeter? I have not. I've been to Piggly Wiggly. Though. Go- I even took a. I kept my bag when I was like 14. I was like, that's great. Uh, hey, here's no, an old no. joke for you. Have you ever noticed that everybody who works at Piggly Wiggly are ugly wuggly? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Monica laughed. Oh my God, Monica laughed. That was a real laugh. <laughs> I Monica love that laughed. Joke so much. I love that joke so much. Joe, Joe, that was a real laugh. laugh. And I want to make sure you keep a video. I want to make sure you keep that little video of Jason lifting his head for the rest of time in this show. Yeah. Use it frequently, please. Yeah, no, that was a funny one. That was a funny one. I made sure I, I got to run to the bank. Clip of that. Oh, he's got to go to the bank, you guys. All right, I got to go bank. cool off then. Yeah. Oh, Joe has to go to the bank. He bring, he's bringing his own money, money machine. Money's coming in. I haven't been to, ba- I haven't oh, been to the got, bank since February. He's got another 100 grand. Bring it over. Same. Same. Speaking of money, shout out to Ryan Cabrera. Raised over $30,000 for Camp Ronald McDonald yesterday. Yes, he did. Insane. Good job performance. Good job. Yeah, I thought you were doing that. one song, Joey Fino, not three. No, we did two. He asked for two. Oh, we did too. He asked for two. And okay. Lance was on there. Chris was on there. I saw a lot of the fans were there. They were donating. I thought that was it was. I, yes, thank you everybody. That was pretty incredible. Cool. Incredible. If you want to donate, just find Camp Ronald McDonald and pitch in. I did you donate, bag. Matt? I did. I threw a hundred in. Yeah. Did you really? I did. Nice. I did. Wow. I did too. Look at you go. Playoff. That's the way to do it. That's yeah. Joey's have donate cancer. Too, I'm. I'm up here. I'm. I'm not. You know. I'm not in any sort of. I, I'm. I'm not doing the best that I've ever done, but I'm doing. You know, yeah. but those kids got a way worse. You know, they know what I like. Something. What I like, I wasn't talking about that. What I like is that if anybody advocates for something like in Monica's situation, right, she put that up there and right away she said, we've already helped six or seven families. Right. Right. Now, if I'm going to say to people, you need to donate and I'm going to put it up here. I better okay. say what I'm doing. So the same I'll thing. Send you you my, I'll send said, you my receipt of my email, Joe. That's not the reason. Joe, for you, that. Do, you should donate too, though, bro. I did too. I put a hundred bucks. Everyone should. That, yeah, that wasn't the reason. I don't need proof of whatever you pay for. That's oh, okay. not what I asked for. Let's take a second, sir. Well, because I did it. Yeah. Don't get it Daily twisted, Matt. We're not saying you're thousand. cheap. We're not saying you're cheap. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Matt, I can't to, wait for Joe to donate then. I mean, he's out already, but I'm sure he's going to write down where to, where to get the money from, right? What is that again? Uh, yeah, the children's? What is it again? Camp, Camp Ronald McDonald. Camp I'm Ronald sure you can just Google that and you'll find it. Camp yeah, Ronald it's McDonald. on Google, Instagram, all that fun stuff. I thought that Perfect. was great. Good on All right, Joey, we're going to say goodbye. It's time. I'm, I've am i literally lost a freaking Backstreet Boy. This is what I got. Lose. Just let you know, I'm still doing it. Uh, I have Ladies, the white one. This is the rest of the day for you. Now. This, is this is all you're doing crazy. the rest of the day. This is the dumbest thing ever, and I'm, and I'm probably going to finish it today. Good luck. No, I don't. All I right. think it's impossible, dude. It's I'm gonna have a cocktail scene. Beat. I'm gonna. I, I I did a lot of good work this week. Well, Actually, real quick, I'm on yes, number you two. Very good, you did a very good job, though, Jason. Very proud of you. But don't ruin what you did. Meaning, no, don't no. go eat 80 million cheeseburgers or something. No, all of a sudden, no. Don't ruin what you did, man. And if you do have, drink I, something, I, what are you supposed to drink? I'm gonna drink vodka. Vodka soda. Dude, you these go. are 100 cal. 100 cal. Two carbs. Matt Mendel, unless they become a sponsor on this show, I will not drink White Claws ever. I'm a grown <laughs> Chall- ass Challenge accepted. Man. Challenge accepted. I'm getting in touch with their people I'm right now. Saying, until they become a sponsor on this show, I'm not drinking White Claws ever. Noted. All right, kids. Well, Noted. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing this. You guys have fun with your White Claw. We had a great show. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Today is, today is Friday, right? Today is Friday. I just want to make sure. Friday. About we'll see you on Monday. I'm still on here. You'll probably see me more excited and more of this and that because I'm very zen today. Very. I don't know why. It's very nice. It's great. All right, Joey. Well, I'm, I'm glad you were in a zen place. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for you. All right. Well, I appreciate it, brother. Have a great All weekend. Right. We got some great guests uh, coming up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, of course. I love you too, buddy. You know that. So take it away. Thank you, Joey. See you later. I'm going to go uh, cool off. I got to get the air conditioning guy over here soon because <laughs> it is hot. And I heard